the heir to the Jordan's throne, Meriden Thursday, amid much fanfare in a glittering ceremony that the country's leaders, long backed by the West as a stabilizing influence in a volatile region, hope will reinforce local and global alliances. The 28-year-old Prince Hussein, named as heir by King Abdullah in 2009, tied the knot with Saudi architect Rajwa Al Saif, 29, who hails from a prominent family with links to her own country's ruling dynasty. Jordan has relied on Western sport to shore up its economy. One of the world's biggest per capita recipients of US and European aid and observers hope the wedding will also bring it closer to the regional powerhouse on its southern border. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman who was expected to come did not attend, Jordanian officials said. But the banquet tables were studied with European and Asian royalty and senior US figures too, including US First Lady Jill Biden and Britain's Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate. <laughs> Prince Mohammed last visited Jordan a year ago following years of tensions also prompting hopes then that warmer ties would unlock more fulsome economic sport. لنفسي على كتاب الله على كتاب الله وسنة رسوله وسنة رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى المهر وعلى المهر المسمى بيننا المسمى بيننا مبارك سيدي The wedding is also a milestone in Hussein's path toward the monarchy with officials and insiders saying King Abdullah feels more confident that his country's prized stability will now be cemented. The king had removed his younger half-brother Hamza as heir-designate in 2004. Hamza was later accused of conspiring to overthrow the monarch in a foreign-inspired plot, but Jordan has not seen the upheavals that toppled neighboring leaders and escaped relatively unscathed from the turmoil witnessed in the region in the last decade. In recent years, Hussein, a US educated graduate from Georgetown and a Sandhurst officer, has increasingly taken on the duties of a future king in the country of 11 million, rubbing shoulders with the world leaders including US President Joe Biden. At the Arab League summit in Jeddah last month, he walked alongside his father to greet Crown Prince Mohammed. The three were photographed together. At home, Hussein is regularly seen chairing meetings of government agencies. In line with customs of the Hashmiyat family, who claim descent from the Prophet Muhammad and ruled Mecca for centuries, the public ceremonies began as Hussein and his bride tied the knot in Amman's Zahran Palace. Tens of thousands of cheering Jordanians lined the streets as the bride and groom rode in an open-top white Range Rover through the city to Al Husseiniya Palace for a state banquet with hundreds of guests.
Despite its imperfections, many Jordanians say they prefer the continuity of their country's political system, noting the year of conflict that have ravaged neighboring Iraq and Syria. For us, the Hashmids are a safety valve, said Alia Ibrahim, a teacher in a private school in Amman. أنا بحب أحكي إنه أنا سعيد جدا بإنه إجا عرس ولي العهد بهاي الفترة العمرية اللي أنا فيها عشان أعيش كامل الأجواء وشعور جدا بشعر بالفخر والسعادة هذا عرس عرس الأردنيين كلهم عرس الشباب كلهم الأردن كلها فرحانة الفرحة تعم أرجاء الأردن شوارع الأردن محافظات الأردن شباب الأردن من مختلف المحافظات موجودين Washington's desire for a stable ally in an otherwise volatile region meant it too has often turned a blind eye to Jordan's slow democratic reforms and mixed human rights record. The U.S. maintains military bases in Jordan and conducts regular joint training exercises. The kingdom is slowly recovering after years of sluggish growth and high unemployment under the latest of many international monetary fund programs. Still many have staged protests over a cost of living squeeze, including deadly riots last year over rising fuel prices and some criticize the prince's wedding as a waste of public resources. How can we be happy when we struggling to improve our daily lives? It's the prince's wedding, not ours, said Abdullah al -Fayaz. A retired serviceman living on slim savings on the outskirts of Amman.